This video shares tips and tricks for using hyperlinks in your Mighty Network that will make your life easier and your members too, including ways to set up links like this handy one where any member reading this article can open their profile for edit. I'm Marcia Chadley, here to help you be successful using the Mighty Networks platform. Each post, article, pull or question or event post in your network has its own unique URL. Each space has its own URL, and each feature within a space has its own URL. Collections have their own URL too. The beginning of each of these URLs is the unique URL for your Mighty Network. The URL for your network will take people to your landing page, unless they're already logged in in that browser, in which case it opens it right up. That URL might look like a regular domain name, it might look like a subdomain name. It might be the mightynetwork.mn.co domain name. While we're looking at landing pages, I'd like to show you a bit about the bottom. At the bottom of every network landing page, Mighty Network shares its terms of use and privacy policy. If you have policies and terms that you would like to have shared at the bottom of the page, reach out to the support team. Great way to do that is with the need help button in the lower right hand corner of your network. Give them the link to your policies and terms and also let them know what words you'd like to use to label that link. I added additional links to my policies directly within the landing page text on my Mighty Network. One of the places where I use hyperlinks are in the monthly articles where I talk about the highlights from the previous month and send people to what to do for next month. I also use hyperlinks in onboarding and support articles. It's often easier for members to see a hyperlink if you bold the text before you add the hyperlink. I'm going to bold the text, I'm going to grab the hyperlink, my quick start guide that I want to share in this article and then add in the link. To be able to add a hyperlink that sends someone who clicks it to a DM with you as a host, maybe if you want to tell them if you have a question, send me a chat, you need to format the URL like this. You need your network URL like we looked at before and then at the end, you're going to add your user ID. You find your user ID by opening up your profile in your network and finding those numbers at the end. Other great links to help members get to important places are links that send them to their profile, to their notifications, to where they can change their email or password, and to where they can see and work with their purchases. Now, don't worry, I'm going to put the information on creating these links in the video description so you can more easily copy them. You can find more tips and techniques for creating a successful Mighty Network here on my YouTube channel. Please subscribe. You'll also find links in this video description to join my free Mighty Networks community for hosts and about working privately with me.